What's happening, YouTube? Sim Collector here with a little pickup from the flea market. Uh, real nice weekend at the flea market. Uh, prices were nice and low, and I found a few die casts that I thought I'd show you. I'll start off in number order, and the first one is the Bass Pro Shops uh, Tracker Boats, number one, uh, Mr. Martin Truex Jr. Uh, this is when he was racing for Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, and I believe on the bottom it says it's from 2007. Right, sticking with the DEI theme, we have the number one of Steve Park, the Pennzoil. One of my favorite paint schemes. Really, really sharp. Alright, next on our list here, again, Dale Earnhardt. This one, I believe, says 1999 on the bottom. It's the Wrangler number three. Chevy Monte Carlo. We've got Good Wrench as an associate sponsor there. GM Auto Parts on the back. With the red interior. Really nice. Uh, I believe this is Robbie Gordon, number seven, Motorola. Uh, Ford Fusion. Really nice dark paint scheme right there. Uh, as an associate, uh, sponsored there by Menards, I believe. Really nice looking car. Uh, I'm not sure who's the driver of this number seven. If anybody knows, let me know. Uh, it's a Dodge uh, Sirius uh, satellite radio. The blue, white, and black paint scheme. I'm not sure if my light is picking up the, uh, the blue enough, but it's a really sharp color blue. Next on the list is the Jeff Gordon DuPont Chevrolet. We got a few scuffs on this, but overall, really nice condition. Nice little haul here. And we've all seen his cars enough, so let's pass on him. Uh, I believe the number 26 Johnny Benson Cheerios uh, Toy Story 2 car. And I was bound to pick this one up because uh, I've seen it four or five times uh, throughout the entire flea market. So I, was, I knew I was going to get it. And there's Woody on the, uh, I believe it's a Ford Taurus. All right. Number 29, Shell Pennzoil, uh, Chevy Monte Carlo, Mr. Kevin Harvick. And this looks like it was actually uh, raced. It's got a bit more scuffs than the rest of them. Really sharp red and yellow paint scheme. And I believe this is Jeff Burton, number 31, Prilosec OTC, uh, Chevy Monte Carlo. It looks like he barrel rolled this one a few times. And then we have the number 33, Aleve, I believe, of Terry Raines, Chevy Monte Carlo. All right. I don't need to see him too much. And then the number 43, Lucky Charms, plastic toy car that must have came in the uh, in a breakfast breakfast cereal box. I have a purple one, so I'm going to add this one to the collection. And sticking with the uh, Toy Story theme, we have the Kyle Petty number 44 Pontiac Grand Prix. And I believe this is Toy Story 2 also. And, you know, a lot of people say that, you know, maybe Dale Earnhardt Jr. or, or, uh, Jeff Gordon are probably the two most overexposed drivers in NASCAR because they've been around for so long and they're so popular. But I tell you what, I see more Kyle Petty cars than anybody else at the flea market. This one's pretty cool because I believe this is Jimmy Johnson's uh, rookie nationwide car. 
And um, I found a bunch of them in blue with his name on it, but this one does not have his name on it. So if anybody knows if he actually drove the Red 92 Excedrin, uh, let me know. All right. These next two are pretty cool because these are actually Hot Wheel Sizzlers. And uh, these were pretty popular probably like in the 70s. Uh, and I didn't even realize they still made them anymore. And what they would actually do is you would actually give them a charge. They have a cell inside them. And you would actually give them about a 30 second charge. And they would zoom around on the racetrack. So these are pretty cool. I didn't even know they still made these. If you want to see the back of them. They say they're from 96. And um, they have a little bit of a, a lead there. I'm not sure if that's where you would charge them. I know the old ones used to have a little port on the side where you would actually charge it, but these don't have them. So, if anybody knows, let me know if you have them. Pretty cool. And I thought this one was pretty cool. I don't know if it'll spin for you. We'll try it, though. Nope. Um, this, one, this one place I went to, they were selling everything for everything for a quarter. They had a big bin, you had to dig through it. So I found this Scooby Doo number 29, um, driven by Robert Presley. And it's a 124th scale. And what I thought was pretty funny about it is that he was selling it for a quarter. And in the bin, I found this miniature replica car of the same one. And he actually made me pay 50 cents. A quarter for this one, and a quarter for this one. So I thought that was pretty funny. I was able to find one video game, and it was for the Xbox uh, Rally Sport Challenge 2. And I picked this one up because I already have Rally Sport Challenge, the first one, and I figured ah, I'll finish off the set. All right. Thanks for watching. Check some of my old videos. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. Later.